You guys might be experiencing a bit of buffering, but... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got me a new microphone today, guys. I know you guys aren't going to be able to see it, but... I got me like one of those uh, hanging microphone stands, so now I can move it as close or as far away as I want, like that. I wish I could probably like this close. Oh, my voice is literally so quiet. So. I don't even, I just like we were doing the yellow bill thing, I remember now. We had to go talk to the harvest guys, we had to collect the, the moonbeams, whatever. It's been Washington. It's <laughs> been five days. But in that time frame, I've already forgotten what we were doing. At some point, I probably need to get some videos uploaded. I have a couple of videos in editing I just haven't uploaded them yet. <laughs> They're like from, what, probably a month ago videos. I, when I did my free assessment video, those videos are like, one of them was from before then, right after that, so it's been a, a while since I didn't record any. Streaming seems a bit easier though, just because I don't have to go through the process of editing everything. Editing makes it look nice nights, you know, which I don't have enough time to sit there and edit videos all day. <laughs> What's my ADHD? Is that if it gets boring, I'm, my ADHD is immediately like, nope, I'm out of. Did I grab the bush? No, I did not grab the bush. I am so sorry, Bessie. I will be back in one minute. I wish it's been a hot minute since I played this game. It's only really been five days. It feels like longer though, because I went and checked and I was like, oh man, how long has it been? Whee! Hopefully you guys enjoy this one though. I know the thumbnails aren't too intriguing, but I'm still working on that part. 
because I'm not doing videos, I can't just do a thumbnail of what we did in the live stream. I mean, it could afterwards, I guess. After the live stream, never change the thumbnail, I guess. I mean, that would work, but I wouldn't really draw viewers in for the live stream, you know what I mean? Brush, 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 brush. You really make sure everything's in the right level, wait. I'm so overwhelming for everybody, oh no. Is that what he's like, oh right. I mean, that's just me being a worry word, you know? Hopefully the music actually a bit louder for you this time. Last time I had the music too quiet so you could hear my voice. But then it was too quiet, I could hardly hear it over my voice, so... On the stream, anyway. This game is so relaxing. If, I, if my voice sounds kind of off today, I did a lot of singing today at church, so it's like my voice is very sore. <laughs> so my voice might sound kind of rough and gravelly. <laughs> Bessie. Oh. Alright, now that I've brushed you out, I'm doing water in my brush. Our neighbors, they have like, so the story is our neighbors, they have some ducks. And they had uh, one duck that stayed uh, under our shed for a few months because the neighbors don't care about their animals apparently. And then their other ducks somehow ended up all the way down the road at our other neighbor's house. But they finally found each other again now and they had baby ducks. And then those two ducks, they kind of stayed under our shed. And then the female, we nicknamed her Clara. <coughs> she had some babies, so she was in our dog house for a few months hatching those eggs. And now they come by every day for food. They're getting fed. They were cute though. They got most of their feathers, but their wings are still so tiny. So when you flap when they flap them, they're just tiny. But they're cute. I got them to eat out of my hand today when I was feeding them these sweet babies. See, look at this grass. I'm gonna get some more fodder. How much fodder do I got? Is it why? Yeah, yeah, why? Well, <coughs> I got free fodder. Oh. Uh, guess I better cut some. It's even ready to be cut. Hold on, let me. Ah, for a win. Okay, no, it's big. I can't cut it right now. Okay. Good, good, because I don't want my cow to starve. Okay. Once you have it growing, it's not going to die until winter gets it. So, we good. Bessie. I'm going to go the I think the moonbeam I had left to get was the one over by uh, Blue Field or something like that. Oh, that's right. I went into the woods to be met with the last game. I forgot all about that. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that's weird. At some point, I'm going to start playing uh, Spooky Shimster Mansion again. I stopped playing that because to get the other ending on the hospital you have to go back through everything and then do a certain part different at the end and I wanted you know I wanted to sort of be scared when I played it again so I decided to wiggle this one to get what is I gotta put it what jump scares there is and then uh try to do the live streams because I don't have enough time to do videos <laughs> My live streams are so much easier. Plus, I get to interact with you guys. Oh, there's not many of you guys right now. No, not sure. That's alright, though. I know I said I didn't really go into this. I hope you're expecting to get subscribers. Again, though, thank you, you guys so much for all the support. I'm really surprised that I got so many subscribers on one day. I was like, so advertising, like promoting. I was gonna point Harvest Moon to like the Harvest Moon community. That way, people who are like, this game could just enjoy watching it too. But hopefully they actually come back and watch it. If not, that's alright. At some point I plan on playing Skyward Sword HD. It's just that I don't have a video capture card, so I can't record Switch gameplay right now. And I can't you know, emulate Switch because it's still being updated currently, so 
It's not like games that are being not being sold no more be kind of very illegal to get. I mean. I'm not gonna pirate a game that's like it just came out, but some of the games Nintendo has they don't sell no more, so it's like it's not gonna hurt to emulate those games. Just be able to play them again. Especially if, you're on, if it's on such an old console you can't even get that console no more, then it's like I really see no harm in emulating really old games like that. Which is why I'm doing this. It's easier to record when you're emulating Harvest Moon anyway, because you know it's a Wii game. I don't particularly feel like doing the old to style where you have a camera pointed at the screen. <laughs> Although, it's like, to those people who actually do do that, you guys have my respect. That must be hard. Must be hard. I mean, even, even now it's probably really easy, but this is, I would consider hard for me since I'm still learning all the ups and downs of streaming. And video making and such. I'm thinking about playing some uh, different horror games. Because, uh, what was it? Doki Doki Literature Club was free on Steam, so I added it to my library. I haven't downloaded it yet, but I wanted to know what would you guys think of me playing it? I know it's kind of got some, like, gory content in it, so it would be 18 or over. In case you know. There's a lot of my That's a good stuff. So you know. I've seen someone play it before, but actually when I want to play it myself though, experience for myself. If that makes any sense. Man, that's probably one of the most modded games after I can think of though. It's probably a lot more modded games. It just feels like that one's that one in particular is modded a lot. I don't game them I, mean, I don't blame them from the gameplay, it seems pretty good. I told my cousin I want to play it, and he's like, bro, why do you want to play it? Because in the game, it's supposed to be a guy character playing as a girl. He's like, you want to play girls, buddy? I'm like, no, I'm trying to play the game. He's like, this game is for lonely old dudes who want to get a girlfriend. <laughs> I'm like, doesn't mean I can't play it. I really just want to see the horror aspect of it. The dating part of the game, I don't really care much about. I just know it's like a fake dating simulator to describe the horror game. Which is why I hear is so good. I hear like great things about it. Alright, so you guess what that's over. See, I'm stuck. Oh wait, that's right. I bought a cooking pot, didn't I? <sighs> I forgot I bought a cooking pot. Let me go to place furniture. I need to place that, don't I? I forgot I had that. You guys over here, I probably wouldn't even remember. And you guys over here, like, man, you got a cookie pie. What are you doing? Sorry, I don't know what I'm at this point. At this point, I'm just like chilling. I should probably actually grab the stuff. Alright, we use the purple ones because I get the most right now. And let the other ones still save up a bit. That's right, I need herbs for Shelly's energizer or whatever. She's gonna upgrade my rucksack. And then that was it. Uh, what was the one? I was like, oh shit. Oh man, you don't get the fun music, I forgot. In Tree Tranquility, you always had the really fun music whenever you were cooking. You had the little fun cooking music, it was cool. This one got some nice music too, but it's not really cooking music, I would say. Man, don't that look good though? Over here, mmm. No, we just had lunch like an hour or two ago. Some point I hope I can get complex. I'm sure it's not covered right now. And then the expensive you pay for it's probably better.
every once in a while, I'll drop in on my OBS, make sure stream is doing okay, look at stream, make sure the stream is like healthy, so you guys don't like, just have it where it's, where it's like in the first stream, I can cut that random parts, you guys didn't get to see me meet my favorite character, and I was so sad, I was like, no, so I don't know if that happened again, Hey, right, let us go, wait, how many arrows, what does that get? Oh, wow, I should probably make five. I was gonna say make it even number. It's not really an even number. It's an odd number. It just feels weird having four and not five then. I'm not sure why. Alright, we're gonna go to harmonica town. I got four edge every day, so I make sure I get that good stuff. So I don't have enough energy to pick everything and push it unless I can get with you drinker with these. So foraging is going to help out a lot. Plus if I remember correctly at the end of the year they have like different contests and one of the things you can win is like whoever did the most foraging of that year. If you go foraging every day you do the most foraging so yeah. You win that some prizes. Whenever I hear the word so cool, I always think of uh, like a, a sakula tree, yeah. Or I think I like Sakura from uh, Naruto. Sakula. I mean, I guess it with the way they put the Japanese press card, you know, left like Sakula, not yeah, Sakura. Yeah, it's very good. It also makes me think of, oh, I already said sakula trees. I'm not sure if that's actually a seashell or not, but I'll go for that. Maybe you should call that a pink. I'm not sure what the word pink is in Japanese. I know that Midori is green. Akai, I think, is red. Ao, supposed to be blue. It's quite no, I said it's And then I know it was Kulo, it's supposed to be black. And Shilo, it's supposed to be white. And then, uh, Kiloi was supposed to be yellow. Yeah, Kiloi was supposed to be yellow. I'm not mistaken. Feel free to, if any of you guys are Japanese and are watching, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. So, you know, I ain't no expert, obviously. I'm still got a long way to go in learning Japanese. One time I accidentally had my microphone turned off for half, sh half a video without realizing it. Ah. Oh. I need to play some more Mario RPG. I know they're making an HD version. I want to finish regular Mario RPG for the HD version. Too. That's so cool though. They're making an HD remake. It's funny because I would have just started my series. And I'm like, I wonder if they ever make an HD remake. And then the next day a Nintendo Direct comes on and says, oh yeah, we're making an HD remake of this. And I'm like, oh, it's my absolute favorite Mario game. Or oh, that Mario Galaxy, I really love Mario Galaxy. I'm so glad they did a remake of Skyward Sword 2, because that's my top favorite Legend of Zelda game, no cap. And nothing can replace Skyward Sword for me. I like Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild is really good. I haven't got around to the of Kingdom yet because it's expensive. 70 bucks over here. I'm not sure how much it is for you guys, but over here is 70 dollars. So I might end up getting it for Christmas, just like a Christmas present to myself or something. I know Skyward Sword is only 60 bucks, but someone give that to me as a gift. So. And I can find it a little bit. I just love Skyward Sword though. I can't explain how much I love it. Just the storyline, the way the game looks, the music, the dungeons, the overall feel is just perfect. It's one of my absolute favorites growing up. My words don't do justice to how much I absolutely just love Skyward Sword. Let's put it this way, I really, I beat it twice. I know it's not really much in comparison to how many other people probably beat it more than that, but I just love it. And now I'm playing on hero mode. I was when the first time I beat it, I was so sad it ended. I was like, no, 
time, so I didn't get everything. But this time I'm gonna collect everything, all the bugs and stuff. So I'm gonna actually set it. Hey, it's you. Ah, I don't think it's actually there. Hey, you. Ah, oh, I didn't get to read that, hold on now. I heard you started a ranch. I'll help out. Uh, anyway, I can. Just let me know. Oh, nice, thanks. <gasps> herbs, herbs. Bear, bears, bears. Oh, I said keep looking at them. Let me help you. Thank you. Can you imagine actually going up to a bear and it's like, oh yes, let me pet you. It's like, oh yes. It's like, oh mother, I crave death. He can use the pet bear. I wouldn't even be brave if I pet a bear in real life. Just because, you know, for one, I have a little more common sense if they go up and pet a random wild bear. And two, I don't really want to die. Ooh, now that I got the herbal teas, you know what I'm gonna do tomorrow, guys? I'm gonna stock up on herbal teas and make sure everything is done, and then I'm gonna go mining tomorrow. Because this place is closed on Thursday, so if I get on... If I get on my mining on Wednesday, then, you yeah, know, I won't go mining on Thursday. They're closed Thursday, right? Yeah, Thursdays. And at least in this game, they're open to like 22 o'clock. Tree Tranquility, they weren't open for very long. By the time you got out of the mine, you had to take, you had to, like, you're really tired, you know. You stay up till I see too much money. You get out of there, and then they're closed. You're like, ah, oh, I see to take your stuff all the way back home, put in your toolbox, and then go to sleep, wake up at six, and then be really tired. You had to take care of your animals and crops, and then you had to go get the gemstones you got, and then, you know, just pick them up. Today, I'm, I know what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna go fishing today. Give me my trusty old fishing hook. Thanks. It's kinda cool in there. I might put a hoodie on. <laughs> I'll be like fine. The next thing you know, I'll suddenly get cold. It's a curse. I don't think it is. Yeah. Oh, I feel great. Make some herbal teas in preparation for mining tomorrow. I know I'm gonna eat a lot of them. Just like, shh, drink them all up. And then we need to catch some moonbeams too. Can't forget about that. I already decided I would go in for Trace so many times in front of him. For him. Just because, like, you know, I want to, but it's at the same time, like, if I go for him every time, then I'm not going to see the other bachelors. Like, the stories and stuff. I got for Toby once, but I don't know anything about it. I know I'm going for the wizard. I didn't get very far. And then I got married to him, and then I started my game over or something like that. I'm prone to starting my game over if I get burnt out on it and just leave it. I said, I'm 
one play I say it. Breath of Wild, I've come close to beating it three times, but every time I'll play it, I a whole bunch and get burned out on it. Come back a few months later and I'm like, oh man, I don't remember anything. Time to start over. <laughs> it's like a never ending cycle. Help. By the time we get there, be time to catch some moonbeams and anyway. then we go fish in the river too. Because you know we're already gonna be there, so might as well. Still need to figure out how to trigger that cutscene with uh, Ruth and Room of Arm. I know there's like a. I probably have to wait until I finish the, getting the moonbeams for the bill, I think I should. I think I discussed this in the last stream, but nah. I don't remember where I did last stream hardly, so. Mm -hmm. Oh man, excellent, yeah. <coughs> I saw I said I gave my bed. I feel when I got jump scared in this freaking jump scared mansion, I hit my keyboard and I accidentally exited my self as a spooky jump scare mansion. <laughs> I opened windows and everything was like, ah. That was so funny. That game really is fun. That's why I've been waiting to play it again. So I'd be more scared. Yeah, uh, Rusty Yellow Bell. Ain't no Rusty Yellow Bell. Hold on now. I don't know what the bell. Kidoi. A rusty kiloy bell. Another word for rusty kiloy bell. Another word for sure, it's like shatsu. Shatsu. Yeah, shatsu. So it's like, midoli no shatsu, I think. Or shatsu. Oh, I can feel the fire into my body. Hmm, did you save me, Mama? Are you big time? Yeah, I can ring my bell. But come on, where do we put this bell? I forgot I had a whisper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, you see, hanging on the frame, of course. And this frame was at a place I get at a farm. There was a mopey looking man at the farm. <laughs> and a uptight woman. Yep. Find that frame and take me to it. That's all he's gotta say. Bye. He's like, I. He said, I am gonna head out. I am at a Oh no, that's done. No, we're time to go fishing. I'm gonna see. Fishing. I don't know what it is, what it is with my obsession and saying stuff in the Sega tone, like where it's like Sega. But instead of saying Sega, you do Udo it. You say Udo anything else besides Sega. Could be Market or something. There's some random crap. I know, I still think it's funny. <laughs> My sense of humor is broken. My sister Odo sent me a video of Brad Fawn with dramatic music. And it's like, if you laugh at this, your sense of humor is broken. And I sat there and I thought, ha ha. And I was like, oh wait, hold on now. Hold up, wait a minute. Hey, <gasps> rainbow trap. <laughs> nummy, 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 it's gonna be some good money, money, money. Hey, if I get me a cutting board, I can make some sashimi out of this. Maybe some nice sashimi. Never had sashimi in real life, but if it's just raw fish, I don't really like the idea of raw fish. That's why I'm nervous about trying sushi. Just because I, I hear most of the sushi, not really raw fish, it's certain lines, but I'm like nervous about it. Same thing with sashimi. I'm, like, mm. I'm nervous about eating anything raw. If I get a steak and it's like even a little bit pink, I don't want to touch it. <laughs> The same thing with eggs too. My, my grandpa, he likes to eat his eggs running and I'm like, you know, I can't do that. Heck no. My cousin likes it and I'm like, you know, if my eggs are even a little bit runny, I have to throw it away. No, no, don't throw it away. Give it to the chickens because they can eat eggs. Makes the those eggshells a bit stronger right here. Especially if you feed them like they're, like they're, like, say you get an egg that's bad or cracked, you feed the chickens, they'll eat the eggshells too. Good calcium or something. Eggshells. Homegrown eggshells are usually a little bit like 
tougher anyways, and like they don't break as easy nice fragile, so they stay good for longer too. Crash is another advantage right homegrown. Or I home with it. Oh, not homegrown. You know what I'm talking about though. Where you just let them roam in the grass and stuff. Don't feed them just corn-based stuff all the time. There's a certain word for it, but I can't think of the word. Alright. How many herb teas do we got? Yeah, let me grab a few more. How do I do this? Why are there herb teas? I can make some jam out of these, actually. <coughs> or I can save them. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry, don't get me to death. Or I could save these and then once they are right, out of season, start making jam out of them. If I make jam out of them now, though, I'm still in season, I'm gonna get more. Ooh, I don't know. Tough decisions. I think I'm missing one. Glad they let you choose the amount you might take out. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It feels weird how five's not an even number, but ten is. I don't know why I'm randomly thinking about this stuff. I'm just like, oh, you didn't know. I saw my friend the other day. He sent me a whole bunch of questions that he pondered on. One of them was like, if you drop soap on the floor, does the soap get dirty? Does the floor get clean? Some stuff like that. <coughs> and I was like, bruh. I mean, it didn't make me think, though, you know? Pot. 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 If you ever seen a Harry Potter, you know what I'm talking about. Snape is all I hear. It's probably, I always pronounce it Snap when I show you, but I think it's Snape. No. <coughs> Harry Potter is good, though. I recommend, I highly recommend reading the books before, before you read. Okay, I highly recommend reading the books before you watch the movie. That's what I'm trying to say. Read the movies. Once you watch the movies, you, you put expectations on the book for the book, you like the movies. But the books are much better. They couldn't fit all the details into the movie, so it's like... Once you've read it a couple of times, you go, hey, they missed this part, or that part. Or if you read a book and then you watch the movie after reading the book, you'll know like, what details they missed out on your head. <coughs> Personally, I think it'd be better if they had like, a TV show, because then they could still have time to, you know, put all those little details in. I mean, no, that's just me. They didn't have to do filming the entire time. That probably wouldn't be as fun for them. Well, maybe not, though. It just depends. Either way, though, I do like Harry Potter. Uh, oh, wait. I need to get the brush. Hold up. Let's look at a brush base yet. Where's the murder? Malarkey. I know I'm not going to be able to go mining very far, because I have to get the red bill, I think, open up another path to the mines. Bessie, I got a brush. Once I go mine, I'm gonna take all my stuff out of my rucksack, except my fishing pole and my hammer. <coughs> I always, always take my fishing pole with me. Because I know some mines, once you get to the bottom of it, there will be like a little pond or whatever at the bottom. You can go fishing, have a chance to catch like, a really good kingfish or something like that. So I always just take my fishing pole with me in case. That way, you know, if I can make extra money, you know, hey, I can win. Bessie. Did I mean to make you cry? If I'm not back again, I stun them all. Carry on, carry on. That's nothing really matters. Hey, I apologize. That was way too dramatic for the matter at hand. Sorry, I see you had to sit there. Can we sing a little heart out? If you guys can't tell, I just absolutely love singing. <coughs> I'm just not the best at it. So. I know before I started this channel, I thought about doing like a singing channel. Where I'm like, well, who'd want to listen to my singing? It's not really that great. So I just didn't do it. I, you know, I like listening to 
go small YouTube artist like CG5. He's got a really good singing voice. And then we compare to him. Like, I know I should compare myself to him. Because everyone's got their own singing voice, but I in particular just don't think my voice is that good. My voice is more suited for like cool grass music. Just the way my voice is. So I think it's. I've never really sent cool grass music to him. So I've better ones. I do like bluegrass music though, she's been forever since I heard it. It's like grandma and grandpa, they always like to listen to like Christian bluegrass music and it was good stuff. I just like it because it's catchy, you get the banjo, nice work and stuff. Can't see us playing that in our church that we're going to right now though. Like we're Baptist, but the church we're going to right now is Southern Baptist. I mean, I, I could probably see it, but just uh, most of the people in the church are like, older people, so I'm not sure they would look like that. Whee! Anyways, enough about that. Alright, take care of that. Okay, although, on my way there, I'll make sure to grab any herbs and missions I got to put them in my shipping bin so I can go grab them. Everything else has gotta go. You gotta, gotta, gotta go get out of I don't know what direction I was heading with that, but that you know. Oh well. I'm gonna move you down to the bottom. Right there. This brush out of the way. I don't know, okay. Move that. I'm taking my axe from my knee. I think I might need it in the mines, yeah. I can find out an X in anything. It just made me think of something that I forgot about. When I used to play Tree of Tranquility, my sister always called Luca X Man. And she was, we always had this running joke where she was like, hey, if you marry him, you better watch out and chop down your house. And she would always just call him X Man. So now I can imagine that he would chop down my house or <laughs> in my barn. Cause she was always like, better watch out, chop down your house and your barn. And then she had like a little figurine, like a little knight figurine. Kind of like a crusaders looking knight, medieval looking one. And it had an axe on it, so she would just swing it around and talk to the axe man. Pretend that it was chopping down a house. Which is just funny. <laughs> I love my sister too. Been trading for anything in the world. Most of my family, though, I wouldn't trade them for anything. So, even though we do get nice, I sure. I cannot speak today. So, then we get on each other's nerves sometimes. It's like, you know, I don't have to break family bonds. Family still family. Ooh, yeah, I get, gotta get some of them taste mushrooms. I mean, technically, if I run out of energy in the mines, I can always eat those. The mines really only go down like 10 floors right now, but the purpose is, I was hoping to get gems, but I'm not going to get gems, like 4 is going to 10, that's going to be way down. No, yeah, so we're just going to like break some rocks and get some rocks for upgrading my house. Or maybe my chicken coop, I don't know. If I upgrade my chicken coop, I can have more chickens, and then I can make more money. They're a good, that sounds like it would be a good investment. Or my barn, but I don't really have much in my barn. More chickens in my coop yet. I will, I will. Especially if I buy, oh, I can't really buy an incubator. I think I, no, 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 incubator already comes with it. But, you have to buy like a, different makers. That's what it was, a like cheese maker, mayonnaise maker, and all that. Yes. Which we guys in there for now. Yo, what's up, boo? Morning. Morning, I'm sorry, I don't know. Oh yeah, sorry. <coughs> Done that. Why are we talking about that? Hold on now. I'm over here. Let me see if it's the carpenter is open. What time do you guys open? Okay, open at 8. Okay. Never get increase uh, friendships then when I don't talk to them every day and give them stuff. I always recommend, even if you don't have stuff that they love, I just give them stuff that they like. 
Or even skip that out. Like, yeah, alright, okay. Better friendship break. Hey, don't do that. You didn't do it. See, you didn't do that. You should do that. Talk to them. It might have been just on tree turn projects. I know you get a little bit of friendship up just by talking to them. Those are the ones that'll give me ores and stuff. Which I do need for the right now. These ones that give me gems right here. I can't remember if this is the one where they have to be sparkly gems to get through it. I always get those mixed up. <coughs> I know one of the games, and I can never figure out which ones it was. One of the games, like, they have gems that'll be sparkly, and then there's non sparkly ones, so you know which ones are good, which ones are not good. I don't think it was this game. Well, it might have been, actually. I don't know. I should jump over there, so. <coughs> no point in finding jump over. I think it might have been this one. I don't know. Let's we'll see. Well, I guess we will see if I end up finding, like, a sparkly ore just chilling there. You better not go, you better not go, I'm gonna tell you why. I have a hand and I'm about to hit you. Dramatic, I know. Pro drastic, it's like, oh yes, I'm about to hit you. Wait a minute, didn't that make nine over keys? Or ten over keys? I don't know. Maybe I do. Either way, I'm, I'm gonna race for the team. It's like a big rock. Big rock. It's gonna take a lot of these to get my energy back up. I know certain foods get your energy up like right away, but over tea, not really so much. So. That's why I get French make over tea. My jams would have got me up a little bit more and stuff. Jams and jellies. Not a whole bunch, but you know, it's a little more than what the over tea is offering. It ain't hard nothing though. So I ain't going in. It might have not been this one of the shiny ores, because I don't know. I just remember you think you like one of each board or okay. get like the red yellow out once it gets stuck. We haven't got to that part yet, so just ignore that. <gasps> Mushrooms! You know I got ah, I'm stuck. You know I gotta get over there, fam. And try to step on the X's that make you fall down. So I uh, like, what do you call them? Pits. You just fall into, like, unstable land. That reminds me, I had a dream about unstable land. I dreamed that we were in the desert. Me and some random people were. It's like, I was a part of this tribe of, like, uh, winter people that only lived in, like, snow and stuff. We lived, had, like, a home. Like, ton we had a home in the snow with tunnels dug out and everything. And the government was trying to come find us. And this one person who looked a lot like my dad was like, Yeah, I'll help protect you guys when you hide. And then somehow we ended up in the desert. And then it was like, there was some unstable ground, there was mine, 
brain of mine, this guy's... Oh, no. Take a second, my brain is going too fast for math to keep up. And there's like signs that said unstable ground. And these people kept walking on it. And the people, of my, like my dad, was like, no. And there's one little girl who was in charge of protecting and stepped on there. And then the person after her stepped on there. And the land broke through, so they all fell, and you could hear them screaming. But her scream was more magnified, so you could hear it over the rest. So I was like, well, it's like a scream, and it was a weird dream. But then, it went back in time, but to the floor, she stepped on it, and then he stopped her from stepping on that little piece of land. So then she did that. <coughs> I swear, I had the strangest dreams. And half my dreams, I swear, they felt fever dreams. Because they're like so random and odd. I guess it. Oh, that's iron work. That was a joke. Okay. But my dreams are so weird, I swear. My dreams, I can make like video games based on my dreams. That'd be funny. I know that's the whole reason I wanted to get into like graphic design. So I want to be able to make some like scary video games based off the of nightmares I had. There's some pretty intense ones. I think they would make really good horror games, like old short horror games in general. Not long. Although I have had this like really weird occurring nightmare about a ninja that was going to attack me. Started out when we lived in like a old little brick house when I was like say six or seven, something like that. So I dreamed about this ninja every night that it would attack me. But the weird thing is, it was like I had a TV show going on my head. So before the dream even started, you had the like intro music, like a doo -doo -doo, ninja music, and then you had little words, like said the name of the TV show, and then ninja was like jumping around on the intro screen, just like introducing himself, like, oh yeah, that's how you know who the main character is. And then you get to the part where the ninja, there's like different camera views panning around showing the ninja trying to attack me. And this continued on to, like, even after we moved, I still had those dreams. And it was the weirdest thing. Uh, we've moved quite a few times. It's like, <clears throat> I've had those dreams after we moved into our second house years later. And then the dreams finally stopped. At some point, the dreams ended when I dreamed that my parents were in the kitchen of the house we're in currently. Like the second house we're in. Just to make it look clear for you guys. And it was like nighttime or some random stuff like that. And the ninja was going to get me, so I ran in my room and was like, Mom, Dad, the ninja's coming to get me. And I jumped up on their shoulders like, uh. And then my dad was like, hey, it's all right, the ninja's just trying to be friendly. And then the ninja kind of was walking up and it's like, oh yeah, it's all right, I wasn't trying to get wrong or fresh, I just wanted to say hi. And then me and the ninja made friends. It was so weird. But to this day, I still dream about it sometimes. Like maybe once in a while, it'll pop up in my dreams. I'll be like, oh yeah, I remember you. But it was, it was literally the longest reoccurring nightmare I've had. It went on for like literally years. I, I was probably 12 or 13 by the time I stopped having those dreams. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, ten, 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 maybe like eight years or something like that. It's crazy. I know sometimes I'll still have reoccurring dreams that are nightmares. Like, I don't put this, I'll have a dream, and then it'll be like, when I wake up and then go back to sleep the next night, it'll be like a second part to that dream. And I'll be like, oh yeah. Or sometimes, when I have a recurring dream, I'll be like, it won't even be the next night, it might be a few months later, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that I had this dream. Like, there'll be a literal, like, a game character version of me in my dream. And then me in my dream be like, oh yeah, I remember this dream, and then I'll add more on to it in my dream. So it just like keeps going and going. I have had some really weird dreams though. Like another nightmare I used to have is, <clears throat> so the second house we lived in, it's like an old creaky trailer. So that, the hallway always looked really scary at night. So it was always really dark and like, not very illuminated at night. So I used to have dreams. That, and to this day, I still literally dream about this sometimes. Or if I, in my dreams, if I go in the hallway, like, I'll start slowing down and stuff. 
ominous music starts playing, and then suddenly goes to attack me. Same match as you're right in front of the hallway. And you're going to walk down it, and you start slowing down. I can have in dreams you're trying to run from something, but you're running, but you're not running, you're like really slow. It's kind of like how, you, how I was in my dream, but walking. It's like I was walking like blue or something, and I'm like, and then we get darker and darker and really ominous and I can tell that something's about to pop out of the darkness and chase me. But even uh, in my dreams, I like, say it wouldn't even be a nightmare at all. It'd be a random dream about me in that house. And I go into the, I what do you call it? Let me get in my thoughts. I go into the hallway part of it. And as soon as I go into the hallway, the dream switches directions like at 360. And it starts turning into a horror dream and I'm like, for example, one time I dreamed that I had to go pack up some clothes for vacation. It was all a happy dream. I walked into that hallway and it did the 360, kind of turned into a nightmare. I walk into my room to go pack some clothes and I'm like, oh no, the light switch won't work. Which is common for my dream. I'll go in my room and my light switch won't work. I'm like, oh no, I gotta get it out of here before that monster gets me. If I stay in there too long, the monster will go and eat me. Or I don't know who's here. I don't know what it does. I just know my dream usually ends and the monster gets me. <coughs> but I'd be like, if the light won't turn on, I, in my dreams, I just refuse to go in there because it looks really dark. But if I don't go in there with the lights on, if that makes any sense. And then it's like, as soon as I enter that hallway or in my, or my room, I shall automatically know when that monster chases me. The me in my dream just like feels its presence. I'm like, oh no, it's after me. But anyway, I've had, I've had a few dreams, so. And that's like one of the weirder current dreams I still have these days sometimes. I can't think of the last time I had that dream, but <clears throat> might have been a few years ago, maybe, I don't remember. It's been a while though since I've had that one. I've had some just crazy dreams, though. Half the dreams that I've had, I can't even remember. No, you're not close there, are you? Oh, I swear I didn't mark that back yet. Dang it. Forget I can go talk to the church. Ah, okay, let me go do that real quick. I forgot I had to go talk to her at the church and convince her to return to the jewelry shop. <coughs> My bad. Let me just go. By the time I get back, it's just a open. So, there we go. I have enough time to actually get my jewels to find. stop at 5 4 30 just because the headphones i have is uncomfortable to wear with my glasses so it's not comfy to wear super long the next time <coughs> that's why you shouldn't play super long also there's a book i want to read too i've been getting into reading this one series there was a chemical garden series i think it was called i'm on the last book of the plot ever and it's like i took a break from reading after reading the first two and i'm reading the last one again i'm getting really into it now I'm There is one that I was reading. I can't remember the name specifically, so I linked it to my friend. It was about like, Ursula before like, Ursula from the Little Mermaid before she became Ursula. And then I got the second one that my mom gave to me. And it's about like the Little Mermaid, basically. Not really the Little Mermaid, but it's like a book based off the Little Mermaid, I would say. Not the Little Mermaid specifically or directly or anything. <coughs> it's just kind of like based off like the Grimm Brothers and stuff. It's not a scary enough thing. I haven't finished the second book yet though, so I don't know. The first one is really interesting though. One of the characters in it would make me so mad, so I refused to read the first one again for a while. But then I went back and reread it, because I tried to read the second, and I couldn't re read it again, so I didn't remember any of the characters. So I was like, ah, fine. Finally gave in and was rereading the first one. But then I went to my friend, she thought it was interesting. She really likes reading it. I highly recommend to any people who like reading out there. Never trust anyone with your books unless you really trust them. Because your books will probably get damaged or mistreated. So only uh, share your books with people you know who treat the books right. <coughs> treat the people you know who treated. So. 
say the golden rule, treat people how you want to be treated, so treat folks how you want to be treated. I've already tried all the other options before, and either way, she goes back to the accessory shop. I like the accessory shop. I used to work there, my husband. Okay, yeah, ah. Uh, Sense. <coughs> Why does the flowers on her skirt remind me of the Google Chrome symbol? I said the Google Chrome is just a flower. I don't know. It makes me think of Google Chrome, and I can't stop it seeing it. But Julius is doing fine here. I just need your help, ma'am. You can't just lift it randomly, so. Man, literally, the. This looks so smooth, though, like the animation. Oh, I can't even. The gameplay. As you can say. The graphic is what it's sort of making it. I swear, sometimes my brain goes fast and I'm not This is where I got like my little bowing thing from. Right, you notice when your character meets the character you're playing is right now. Right, when she meets new people, she kind of like fold her hands together and like do a little bow or like, half bow, curtsy, whatever. I, I always do that when I meet new people. I always uh, do that as like a sign of respect, but I'm like, dang. People always ask me, like, why you do that? And one person's like, why you do that? It's kind of weird. And I'm like, oh, I don't know, she's something I did. And one person was like, are you Asian or something? Have an Asian background or something? And I'm like, no, no, no. I, I was just like, something I do. I'm convinced I get it from this game. But, and they're laughing too, the way they laugh, they throw their heads back with their eyes closed, like, ah, ah, ah. My mom swears it's the way I laugh. It's like the way the Harvest Moon characters laugh. I throw my head back with my eyes closed, like, ah, ah, ah. Big heart is gonna cliff. Oh no, it's not really a good objective evidence. It's just a theory, but I just wonder if I got like, some of the characters that I have playing this game when I was younger. I mean, people always say whatever you, whoever, whatever you hang out with the most, you start acting like. <coughs> and I do see that sometimes I'm hanging out with my work friends. Something, I don't know. I suppose it's possible. I would say it probably is. I need to go up there this year, you know? Alright, time to go find my tools. Please give me tools and we're in that just junk or... Take glass, me not take glass, it's not worth it, but you know. Do me a favor. Myra, just give me good stuff. She skipped the good part. I love my character's outfit design though. First, I don't like orange on me, but the orange kind of suits her well. Especially with the red skirt. I'd probably do more like a blue themed kind of color, but the same style. Orange stuff was like the most I might do, I'd probably do a green one too, kind of like a green theme. Light green and a top like that. And then a dark green skirt, and then maybe like a. Maybe the same tannish color shirt she's wearing under her thing. Oh. Okay, you ah, you better hit me with your eggs, buddy. Hey, you wash your eggs, swing that. You almost took me out. You almost hit me straight to Jesus. Wow. Like, I will send you to Jesus. Alright, alright. I did it. Now we can refine our stuff right after a good seat, of course. Polish, polish the ones in this case to peace. We do, but my, I didn't know you were the boss of Titan. So I don't know why 
I don't mind the die here, you know, I have died here myself. I just know why he reminds me of a lot of fucking like, girls like that. Like, you know? Okay, then, did you hear the news for your friend's story? The way his face kind of is too makes me think he's wearing makeup. I'm kind of like, mm. I don't know what that is. I'm like, hi. My boss's wife is in the future. I'm going to say this when I say it's a joke. Thank you for talking to me, didn't I didn't remember. I decided to take over my husband's story. I finally realized I can't be sad about the memories forever. You can't pretty echo it over there. I thought that my room would have a hard time working this way to work this. But I should ask for help with this instead of coming down here. Yeah, you should have. I feel so bad for the drawer, so I'll in charge of the story. I'm so sorry. Oh, you apologize to me. You apologize to me. You apologize to him. I didn't know this is the accessory shop was open again. Please stop by when you have a chance. They do get some nice stuff. Some nice like you're in the bag. Look at those rings in the bag. The ones on the top case of rings, the golden one, the silver one, and the regular ore one. They look like they got inscriptions on it. Kinda reminds me like something. That's what it Here's a class, so you have gold, are you sure? Yes, please. Yes, please. Either way, if you, you so it must not be shiny ore. Then there's no shiny ores in this one. Either way, even if I get all junk ore and glass, I'll still make back a little more than what I paid to her. Wait, why am I finding the ore? I needed that. I don't need it for upgrading stuff, I need to keep it for... Ooh, I can't really look today. I need to keep it for the Red Bill quest, it's not going to be for a while though, but still, it's good just to have it. Because I can't really upgrade my, you know, like, my stuff until I actually get the smithies up and running, so you know. Hey, I think I can do the Christian Iron Armor. I keep upgrading my stuff so I get the chance. I'm sure, I could just buy stuff, but it's like better than upgraded. It costs a little less than buying a whole thing without having to upgrade it. At some point, I need to buy me a fridge because all these herbs and stuff are going to be taking up my entire food box. Especially once I start like, getting some of stuff is going to be taking up my entire food box. Alright, we gotta go in order for our dinos. Can't just not go in order, right? 
How do you guys think of my new mic stand I got though? I, do I sound clear with this new mic stand? Because I actually really close to my face now, but it's far. So I don't have to have the game music turned down quite as loud. Quite as quiet, I mean. Quite as much. That's where I'm looking for. I really am having the worst trouble speaking today. Alright, that's going to be all for today. Alright, so before I get around to doing the flower festival next time I play, which you know that'd be nice. I'll put that on the thumbnail for the next stream. It's thumbnail. Yeah. Flower festivals, why not? Anyways, uh that you know it's fun. Let me know what you guys think. If I'm too loud this time, music's too loud, if it's too quiet, I'm too quiet. I think I'm loud enough. Quite an OBS in my book, you know what you guys think. I hope you guys did enjoy the stream though. I'll be doing a couple more this week, hopefully, because I don't work that often this week, so I have some time. Who knows, so I'll just do whatever I feel like. Anyway, so I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I hope you guys enjoy the next stream to come. 